Hello again, everyone. Edwin Leonard back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about having the Sun in Cancer and a Virgo ascendant in a natal chart. Now, this could be a person that might be very reticent and, and very humble, a uh, person that might uh, incorporate Virgo qualities and Cancerian qualities. This could be somebody that keeps their home immaculate and is very meticulous around things uh, in their home. Somebody that uh, doesn't mind doing the cleaning at home, keeping their place uh, nice and neat, everything organized and, and, and done in a very orderly and systematic fashion at home. Uh, this could be the person that uh, really Virgo rising tends to be very uh, industrious and hardworking and they may apply these things, uh, matters connected with their family and in their home life. Having a Virgo rising uh, can give an outer demeanor or outer mask that could be very analytical, very precise with things, uh, come across as being uh, really very uh, detail-oriented, intellectual, uh, and will come across as less emotional than the typical sun and cancer. If something is said to upset this person, now having the sun and cancer inwardly, they might feel somewhat saddened or, or upset by maybe what is said, but the Virgo rising, uh, that facade, will more likely appear to, they'll, they'll more be more about analyzing what was said in, in on the surface but maybe inwardly they might be a little bit more agitated or hurt than what they're showing uh, superficially now when you look at the sun sign and the rising sign or ascendant the sun sign uh, represents the the basic wants of a person and the rising sign or ascendant can represent the manner or method in which one attains these basic wants so, uh, basic wants of Sun and Cancer can be connected with having a good home and family life, of having uh, emotional uh, security, and, and really it, this could be, and these things uh, can be, may be attained as far as having a Virgo ascendant, may be done, uh, in ver may be done through real uh, meticulous hard industrious work working very laboriously having doing something that might maybe even a virgo like profession such as working maybe in some healthcare or nutrition field being of service uh, to others in general it could be like for example a catering thing and um, something where they might do a lot of analysis uh, where in, in a profession where such as like a business analyst a data analyst even something with extrapolation of data and because virgo just virgo rising just loves to analyze they are very analytical very punctilious with details even something uh re something as far as something detail oriented could be something like a medical billing and coding is an, another uh, example and this person will be a lot more fastidious than the typical uh, sun and cancer uh, personality and uh, anyway a lot depends too on the aspect that the sun makes uh, to the ascendant if uh, the cancer sun for example in many cases will be in sextile aspect to the Virgo ascendant for example cancer Sun at 18 degrees and say someone has Virgo rising at 20 degrees and this would have a more of a positive integration of the two energies yes the the, the these uh, enter the, the Sun and cancer and Virgo ascendant they are compatible by sign but you might have a, a even better integration emerging of these uh, signs if there is a sextile aspect and that is positive and auspicious now another um, in some cases you might have a semi sextile aspect and that's a minor aspect and let's say somebody has their sun in cancer at 29 degrees and virgo ascendant at zero degrees that would form a semi sextile aspect and you might have a, a, a slightly positive uh, blending it wouldn't be as strong as the sextile being a minor aspect but you could have a good integration uh, of these uh, energies with with the semi sextile 
Now let's take somebody that you could have an out of sign square aspect take place between the Sun and Cancer and Virgo Ascendant. Let's say somebody has the Sun and Cancer at 0 degrees and Virgo Ascendant at 29 degrees. That would form an out of sign square aspect. And in that instance, even though the signs themselves may be compatible, you might have a little conflict, a little exasperation going on inside and the energies might not quite as blend as strongly as opposed to having the sextile or semi-sextile aspect and because of this there might be some there might be some feelings of being misconstrued or misunderstood by others and this person may feel that uh, whether they're cognizant of these astrological placements or not may feel that they're projecting something outwardly uh, that's so much different at least in their minds as opposed to what is going on uh, inside and uh, you could also have a semi-sextile aspect take place. You could have, for example, let's say, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, a semi-square aspect take place. Let's say, for example, uh, you have the sun in Cancer at 14 degrees and a Virgo ascendant at 29 degrees. This would form a semi-square aspect, which is adverse, but it's not as intense as the square uh, aspect. And it would be similar to what I described with the square aspect, but just not quite as intense, and I, I call it slightly adverse. Well, also uh, what's important to look at, too, is to see um, where the sun uh, in Cancer, what house is it posited in? Now, let's say it's in the 10th house. Well, the 10th house being an angular house, the Sun and Cancer energy may come out a little stronger as opposed to the, the, the typical person with Virgo, uh, Ascendant and Cancer Sun, because 10th house is an angular Sun, and there could be, you could see the Cancer, that nurturing, clinging energy, perhaps come out strongly in matters connected with their career status and recognition, and in matters uh, pertaining perhaps to their uh, reputation. You sh might show a lot of sensitivity in these matters. Now, let's say that the sun uh, in Cancer is in the 11th house. You could see that a lot of Cancerian uh, qualities come out perhaps in matters connected with their goals, aspirations, their friends, uh, acquaintances, and uh, perhaps um, uh, being in the uh, 11th house, perhaps even you might see that strong sympathetic uh, energy come out in even humanitarian endeavors and interests. Now, uh, in some cases, like if somebody were to have a very early uh, Virgo uh, rising degree and the 12th house was at a late degree of Cancer, some people can have the Sun and Cancer in the 12th house. And the, and the energy would probably be even more dissipated because the 12th... Uh, energy that's in the mutable houses uh, which are the third sixth ninth or twelfth or aka cadent houses the energy uh, i believe it tends to be weakened a little bit and being in the twelfth house especially that this sun in, in cancer would really only would not only but may but it would figure more prominently in private matters and in solitude and uh, seclusion and in these matters you might see the person's sun and cancer come out um, more and even even so the rising sign generally is going to dominate the outer demeanor and personality anyway but the sun and cancer might even be more hidden if it's positive in the 12th house well anyway people that'll conclude this youtube astrological segment for having the Sun and Cancer in a Virgo Ascendant in a natal chart, and stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about having the Sun and Cancer in a Libra Ascendant in a natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person astrologically speaking based on this alone because astrologically speaking the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one until next time people stay well